The time is the future. The solar system is threatened by alien forces. Their ultimate aim, the domination of the planet Earth. It's a time for bravery, a time for heroes, a time for a particular Englishman to come forward, Colonel Dan Dare of the Interplanetary Space Fleet. All set, Dig. Here we go, then. What happens if we don't make it, sir? That depends on what sort of life you've led, Dig. Sir Hubert Gascoigne Guest leads his team of highly trained experts, including the brilliant young scientist, Professor Mabel Peabody. Follow Dan's thrilling space adventures to exotic locations on distant planets as he battles with hostile aliens to save the world as we know it. Dan Dare, pilot of the future, and the future is now. Hubert taking Miss Peabody on his ship, sir. After the way he carried on about her. He's pretending he wants to keep an eye on her, Dig. And Dig, it's Professor Peabody. Sorry, sir. She's a very clever young lady. I only hope she keeps her eyes on Sir Hubert. <laughs> Miss Peabody, I insist you come away from those controls immediately. That's an order. I'm sorry, Sir Hubert, but you're not as young as you used to be. You may need steady nerves on this job. Miss Peabody, you may pilot the ship, but once we reach Venus, you may consider yourself under arrest for insubordination. If we reach Venus, Sir Hubert. We should be in the danger area now, Dick. Good, sir. Stand doing another jigsaw. All set? This is where the other ship's brought it. Still want to go through with it, Dick? Hans Anastasia never did reckon I had much up here, sir. I think this just about proves her right. Here we go then. Cross your fingers and hang on to your brain cells. Good luck, Dan. Rodeo time. Well, that wasn't so bad. Don't count your chickens till they're in the oven, sir. seem to be all right. Dan's theory must have been right. The Rayfield only attacks impulse motors. Hell in one, Dick. I'll put the kettle on. Congratulations, Dan. It looks like the problem was the impulse motors. He forgot the radio! Venus must have fooled our tester. Why, oh, so it is, sir. Lummy, how did he get here? <sighs> Pity I didn't take Venusian at school. I wonder if he knows Morse. Colonel Dare of Spaceman Digby, I presume. How does he know our names? Leave your helmets and follow me. 
Well, thanks for the welcome party. Let's have it round at our place next time. Hey, three-dimensional TV! Well, I can't imagine the programmes are much fun. Here, haven't I seen you doing panto with an empire? Please try and refrain from making feeble jokes. They are insulting to our minds. We are envoys of the United World Government. When our colleague arrives, we'll be wanting to speak with your head of state. What makes you think your colleague will arrive safely? Well, they turn their radio off. Ignorant creature, your friends are heading straight for the flame lines. Turned off their radio. Your friends are doomed, Colonel Dan.